Nicola from Leicester Print Workshop. I'm here today with Sally Stevens, who's a member and an artist. Would you like to introduce yourself, Sally? Yeah, so hi, I'm Sally. I've been a member of the workshop for a number of years and um, I also uh, teach our, for the workshop and um, I've been involved with a number of community projects. Um, I've worked as an artist in the community um, with schools and various uh, projects like that for quite a number of years, about 15 years. Wow. So, um, with, regarding printmaking, um, is that something that you've been doing a long while? How long have you been? Yeah, so um, my first degree was um, English Literature and Fine Arts and then um, after a few years I uh, discovered printmaking. I did an evening course at Central St Martins um, aimed at artists and um, completely fell in love with etching. Um, just really enjoyed the, all the ink and paper and the sort of alchemy of the acid and everything. Um, and, um, and then following on from that, I did a postgraduate course in printmaking at uh, Central St Martins. And then a number of years later, I did an MA um, at Northampton University in printmaking, so, which was two years. And um, what is, um, what's your sp sort of specialist in print? Is it etching? Yeah, so um, I started off doing mostly etching, so for quite a lot of years it was um, etching and then um, partly through the influence of uh, teaching and community projects I've sort of branched out and I've sort of do now, I've done some um, screen printing and combined that with etching and also done some big monoprint screens um, <coughs> and lino cutting, so yeah. So, so sometimes the community work kind of inspires my own work, so it's quite a good yeah, collaboration. Nice. Is there, yeah, I was going to say, is there sometimes where you find that um, when you're working on a community project it does um, reflect or influence your own work and vice versa? Can yeah, you see definitely, that? yeah. So I mean, my own work, um, quite a lot about sort of heads and portraits and things and um, it was quite a number of years back now, but I did a, a big uh, textile project with a big cluster of schools and um, it was all about um, costume and dress and so we, we created these huge banners which were lots and lots of heads so it was really very much, it was a, it was a school project but very much sort of my own, after my own heart really what we created so oh, that's uh, great. So fun, lots of colour and stuff, yeah. So, um, just seeing uh, behind you, this is um, a project called Printing Parks that you um, worked on um, in the community. So, I just wondered if you'd like to talk a little bit about the, the project. Um, so, it's Leicester Print Workshop as well as uh, Leicester City Council funded by the Heritage Lottery Fund. Um, so, if you'd just like to talk a little bit about the community project. Yeah, so um, it was in collaboration, as you said, with uh, Leicester City Council and they had a project um, which is called the Story of Parks. So um, the whole, it was a, so we were part of a larger project um, exploring the history of Leicester's city's parks. Um, so we initially started with three parks um, and we uh, worked with um, different groups in the community, some schools, some um, different groups, some, there was a group with uh, hearing difficulties, some older uh, members, um, Moat Community College, um, just a number, so we started with three, three parks and then that went really well, so we um, extended it and then we did seven more parks, so there was a total of uh, ten oh, wow. different parks. Um, some groups came back and worked with us on sort of several uh, occasions so we got to know them really well. Um, the way the project worked was that we um, had a week with the group in the workshop um, doing a manor printing activity so that was a chance for the kind of group to get to know each other, get to uh, know me. Um, and then in the second week we went out to visit the park so each group had their own park um, and we mess up with a fantastic guy called Steve who gave us a guided tour. He'd done a lot of research on the history of the parks, the buildings, you know, when different things were built. Um, and some of the stories, some of the characters 
and that had been connected with it. So, um, so we had a tour around the park and then the following weeks we went back into the workshop. So for three weeks we had three sort of two hour sessions and everybody um, found something that they were inspired by from the walk and made a, their own lino cuts uh, from that. And then um, at the end of the sessions, I made um, these larger scale lino cuts, um, trying to incorporate everyone's design into it so that the, um, the final lino cut reflected the interests of the group and what they'd been inspired by on our visit. And then, and then they were made into postcards, so there was a set of 10 postcards um, which was the outcome of the uh, project. And then um, the postcards were distributed amongst the group members so that they had some to take home and give to their friends and family. And um, there were some other activities that were story of parks were running, so they were distributed then. So they became a kind of, yeah, sort of like a, a, a way of sharing the history of the parks, really. Did you have a favourite park? Um, I really enjoyed going to Watermead Country Park. I'd never been before and um, it was a lovely space and um, it was a really lovely visit because we went with um, Mid Community College and they really enjoyed being in the outside space and there was a lovely moment when they all ran up to the mammoth, the, the big sculpture of the mammoth that's in the park. Um, and uh, that was a really fun moment. <laughs> so um, the mammoth is there because when the gravel pits were excavated, they found some mammal, uh, mammoth and deer bones there. Oh, wow. So that's why there's a big sculpture of the mammoth in the oh, park. Fantastic. He was yeah, quite appreciated by everyone, I think. <laughs> and he's on the lino cut, wherever he is. Somewhere down, I think he's a bit hidden. No, yeah. <laughs> So um, you're just working with um, an array of ages as well then, so Moat Community um, yes, so School and then obviously some other um, community groups as well. How did that, um, did that make a difference in the, the artwork that was produced or created, any sort of differences? Yeah, I think, um, I think um, it was really nice to work with sort of quite diverse groups and the sort of um, different ages. I think everybody um, was able to find something that inspired them from the park visit. Um, um, some people have already had some printmaking experience, some people had some of art uh, training and background, and it was really nice for them to sort of reconnect with that in the workshop. So, um, uh, yeah, so it was nice to work with a big variety of ages mm. and, um, and interests and I think everybody really gained confidence as the weeks went on with their own um, making their own lino cuts so and it, I think some people found it a little bit daunting to start with but yeah. you know everyone you know so it's great to see the them um, coming back into the studio actually using a printmaking workshop studio space to be able to create their lino cuts um, and use the presses and the equipment that yeah. we have here. So yeah. again, for them learning another skill as well as learning about their um, parks within their, the area. That yeah, they live. definitely. Yeah, definitely. I mean, it was quite exciting because a lot of people, the park that we went to was new to them. So you know, um, and it, that was quite exciting. And then for people who did know the park, you know, you don't often necessarily think about the history of something that you pass all the time and um, yeah and then it was lovely to be able to make work inspired by, by that really. It was like you had some cold days, people were quite wrapped up in some yeah, of those so pictures. We, yeah, because <laughs> I think um, we started the first block of visits I think were kind of in the spring and I think it was quite unseasonably cold so we uh, really wrapped up, yes. And um, the colours that came out in the, the prints, were they from um, the participants' choice or feedback or was that more of your sort of the artistic um, I think, inspiration? I think I sort of chose them because they were printed sort of in collaboration with um, Serena at the workshop. Um, and because we started with three, I sort of chose three quite distinct colours, but then I wanted the whole set to be 
quite colourful and each one to be really unique. So I did try and get a slightly different kind of colourway to work. I mean, some of them kind of naturally, kind of like for, for the Arboretum, yes. the Shady Lane Arboretum, obviously I wanted that to be sort of green, but yeah, so I tried to, um, and uh, the Abbey Park, I just chose quite muted colours because it seemed to sort of fit the imagery. But, um, I mean, there's, you know, the wonderful pieces and a lot of detail within each print. Um, and almost a lot of detail, but equally it's nicely spaced out. And were they the original sizes that are behind you? Um, yes, this is the. These are the lino. These are the lino cuts that they were. But I wanted to make. The, I had to consider how large the images were yes. within within the lino cut, so that they worked on a postcard scale. So there was a bit of planning and obviously all had to be the right proportion to shrink down to a postcard so yeah it's a bit of bit of planning there but oh, so um, there's a big mammoth on the screen now yes yeah so i um so I, on the final line cut i did include everybody's uh and it represented mm. the whole group's interest and imagery that they'd chosen to work with so Oh, yeah, people made some fantastic lino cuts. Yeah, they were really pleased, and we had time to kind of experiment with how they're printed, like this one with mm -hmm. the coloured using two colours and things like that. So, so they got prints to take home with them as yeah, well. Yeah, definitely, and yeah. they really would have helped the, mm -hmm. the GCSE art students. So, yeah. students. what a great experience to have, really, isn't yeah. it? <laughs> so, are you working on any projects um, at present? Um, I bought a big roll of lino at the beginning of the lockdown time um, with um, plans on working on it and I'm putting a series of um, lino <coughs> running figures because that's quite easy to work on at home, mm. cut the lino and I'm sort of missing the kind of running activities that like sort of group the shared things so yes. I'm cutting individual lino people but then I'm going to print as a crowd. So I've started printing them at the workshop, so which has been lovely to come back. Oh, that's great, Sunny. And then and I assume the community projects are on hold at present. They are they? Them on hold at the moment. Yeah. So there was some more, um, another another one in Leicester that I was involved with, which is just on pause at the moment. So to see what happens with that. Yeah. Oh, well, thank you, Sally. That's great um, learning about more community projects that Leicester Print Workshop are involved in and our artists and members. Thank you. Okay, thank you.